What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, B-Boy Faction TV, and tonight I'll go my WWE Raw Review on Highlights, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please pull watch this video before you before you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube at 4 o'clock Eastern Time for Sunday and Thursday. Follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description, Now let's get started. Before I, before I get started, man, I got some sad news today. My boy Trust No One was killed in a car accident today because his brother told me. So RP in RP to Trust No One in the comment section. But I am going to dedicate this review to my friend Melinda Ford and Trust No One. So Melinda Ford and Trust No One, this one's for you. Let me take a toast. And let me get started on, on my WWE Raw review on Heights. I had to make a toast for I had to make a toast for Melinda Ford and Trust No One. I'm paying my respect to Melinda Ford and Trust the One. So, show Tower TV watching this video. Let me know down below in the comment section that I did a good job. All right, all right. Um, without further ado, let me get started on my WWE Raw review. Let me get started on my WWE Raw review on highlights. Now, Monday Night Raw was a six out of ten. It was just the show was um the show the show was um was okay for what it was, but I give it a six out of ten. It says, we're live for Monday Night Raw from CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore. The commentator, the commentary were uh, Kevin Patrick and Corey Graves. Okay, so um, it says, um, a tribute a tribute graphics airs Iron the late Darren draws draws off. Okay, then now forever together, the WWE video leads us into the show. Okay, we see clips of Saturday's WWE Money in the Bank from the O2 in in London, England. Now go check out my WWE Money in the Bank review on highlights because but WWE Money in the Bank WWE Money in the Bank was a good show and I give it an eight point nine out of ten. But anyway, let me get to you. Live in the arena, out comes the WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins with the fans singing along to his interest music. Seth Rollins stands in the middle of the ring. With the fans continuing to sing, he welcomes everyone to the show. He begins to talk about money in the bank. He mentions Jay Penn and Roman Reigns and Il Sky winning the women's money in the bank match. Seth Rollins mentions Damian Priest winning the man's money in the bank and by the skin of his teeth, he beats he beats um, Finn Balor and, and is still the world heavyweight champion. Seth Rollins talks about SummerSlam and as he as he is talking. Cody Rhodes music hits and out he comes. Cody Rhodes wearing his wrestling gear to a big ovation. Cody gets in the ring and both men are in are in our face to face. Cody Cody looks at Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar music hits. Cody takes his jacket off and runs out of the ring. Runs out of the ring towards Brock Lesnar. Both men fight up on the ramp. Brock Lesnar knees to the uh knees to the face and he throws Cody back into the ring. Seth Rollins leaves the ring and Brock Lesnar gets in. He goes for an F5 but Cody Cody lands on his feet and hits Brock Lesnar with the Cody cutter. Brock Lesnar rolls out of the ring as Cody music hits. Brock Lesnar heads to the back while pointing towards Cody who is standing in the ring. Okay, so we we'll go to commercial break. The beginning of Raw was okay and that's all I gotta say. Back from commercial, Seth Rollins is, is back in the ring. Seth Rollins laughs and says that was a crazy way to kick off Raw. Seth Rollins backs his, back to his business. He is very much looking forward to seeing who will be next person in line. And as he is speaking, it's the Judgment Day's music. Out comes Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, and Rhea Ripley without Finn Balor. Rhea Ripley says that's enough about Seth. They all know they, that everyone is... Here to see the Judgment Day take over. Seth, Seth Rollins asks everyone. Seth says they don't even have everyone in their own group. He asks where Finn is tonight. Rare says Finn is fine and he is not there tonight. But he is not from Seth's concern. Damien Priest tells Seth not to concern himself with the Judgment Day business. He needs to concern himself with the money in the bank briefcase. Damien Priest says he knows that Seth Rollins knows how that works. If he decides to cash in for Seth Rollins championship, it could be at SummerSlam. I hate when I hate when they do this. But anyway, let me continue. Survivor Series, 
Royal Rumble, or even tonight. Maybe after he is done beating Shinsuke Nakamura, he will go from being senior money in the bank to to El Champion, El Champion Mondal. Let's move on. Seth Rollins, let me continue. Seth Rollins says that sounds all well and good, but the problem is that he has to have the champion out here, out to be him, and and he is fresh. He doesn't have a match on the card tonight. Seth says he he's he was going to go party in Baltimore. Demi Priest tells him before everyone starts playing sing sing along, he will make sure Seth is unless. He says Seth is someone who likes to likes to fight. The fans chant. St- fans start to chant as Damian Priest tells them he hopes they will have the same energy after he gets beaten by the person next to him tonight. Ray Ruby says she's already she's already has a match tonight, but Dom is ready for a fight. As Dominic begins to speak, the fans boo him very loudly. Ray Ruby Ray Ruby says Dominic wants to fight Seth tonight. Seth says, as someone who knows who knows all about money in the bank, this sounds like a trap, but he would love nothing more than to slap the must mustache off of Dominic's face tonight. But he w- but he will let the fans decide and the fans cheer. Seth Seth Rollins laughs and says he will see them later as he drops the microphone and dance and dances to the back. Okay, commercial break. So we get Damian Priest accompanied by Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Now this match right here, this match was um this match was fine for what it was. Okay, the bell rings. We are underway. A test of strength, which is won by Damian Priest, and he follows that up with a shoulder tackles. Nakamura tries to fight back with an elbow to the face, but Damian Priest with an armbar. Damian Priest throws Nakamura to the ropes. But Nakamura hits him with a knee to the body, followed by a drop kick. Nakamura with right hands and kicks into Damian Priest in the corner. Nakamura runs to the ropes, but Damian Priest with a strong left hand knocks him down. He goes for the cover, but but Nakamura kicks out. Damian Priest with with a right hand and he viciously throws Nakamura in the corner and stomps on him. Damian Priest lifts Nakamura up and he goes. For a vertical suplex, but Nakamura lands on his feet. Damian Priest with a right hand, and Nakamura in the corner. Damian Priest goes for a splash, but Nakamura moves out of the way. A right hand by Nakamura as he places Damian Priest horizontally on the top rope. Nakamura hits him with a flying knee to the body, and and Damian Priest falls to the outside. Nakamura heads to the outside, and he tries to lift Damian Priest up. But Damian Priest reverses it, reverses it, and he throws Nakamura into the barricade. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, both men exchange right hands and kicks in the middle of the ring. Nakamura with a reverse reverse Russian leg sweep as he trips Damian Priest down. Damian Priest get, gets back up, but Nakamura sits, sits him on the second rope, and he hits him with a release German suplex. Nakamura with a flying kick to the face. He goes for the cover, but Damian Priest kicks out. Nakamura climbs the second rope and jumps and jumps going for a kick, but Damian Priest hits him with the right hand. Damian Priest grabs Nakamura, but Nakamura reverses it into a roll-up, but Damian Priest kicks out. Nakamura goes for an armbar, but Damian Priest reverses, reverses it, and, and he gets to his feet. Damian Priest hits him with a spinning kick. He goes for the cover, but, but Nakamura kicks out. Rhea argues with Kevin Patrick on the outside, saying that saying that was a three count. Back in the ring, Damian Priest goes for the racer's edge, but Nakamura reverses it into a cover, and Damian Priest kicks out. Nakamura with a kick to the head. He goes for the cover, but again, Damian Priest kicks out. Nakamura climbs the second rope as Damian Priest gets to his feet. Nakamura hits him with a flying kick. Nakamura goes for the King Shasa, but Damian Priest ducks and he gets Nakamura to his feet. Damian Priest hits him with a big clothesline. Damian Priest with a south of heaven. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Damian Priest. So this match was okay for what it was. The Judgment Day celebrate with Damian Priest lifting up the Money in the Bank briefcase. Okay, let's move on. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, we see clips of the women's WWE Tag Team Champion match 
from Money in the Bank. Ronda Rousey music hits, and now and now she comes. A as she is about to speak, Shayna Baszler music hits, and now she comes to the ring. Shayna says she is confident when she says that she speaks for everyone when she says they are tired of hearing Ronda Rousey trying to speak on the microphone. Ronda Rousey tells Shayna she owes her an explanation. Shayna calls Ronda Rousey narcissistic and says she is the only reason why Ronda is standing in a WWE ring. She owns her nothing, but she does own an apology to everyone for bringing Ronda into this bit into the business. Uh, Ronda tells her she would have spoken up before she cost them their titles. Shana says she doesn't recall Ronda setting up rings, trying to get into the business. Shana says she paid her dues to get here, unlike Ronda Rousey. She says Ronda walked in through the back door into WrestleMania. Shana, Shana Basel says she loves this and Ronda Rousey has ruined it for her. Shana says she owns her the reality that there is someone to hear and that is her who can finally shut her up. Shayna throws the microphone away and stands on the ring apron. Ronda Rousey kicks her down and hits Shayna with a clothesline. Ronda Rousey throws Shayna back into the ring and Ronda goes for the computer clutch. But Shayna flips her over and gets her in an ankle lock. Ronda Rousey gets out of it, but Shayna hits her with a knee to the face. Shayna, Shayna bears the music hits, and she walks to the back. Now, this was a good promo by Shayna Baszler. And and I know we're going to get Shayna Baszler versus Ronda Rousey at, at SummerSlam. And I cannot wait to see that match. We cut backstage to Maxine Dupree. Has Otis in the headlock. Gable b- blows a whistle and says that was great. And asks her if she is ready for her first match. Sh- she says she is more than ready. And she's sick and tired of the... Viking Raiders under mes- underestimating her and Gable's coaching abilities. Gable says he is a five star man, a five star coach, and a an Olympian. And tonight they are going to slap the Viking Raiders in the face. Samantha is in the ring and she introduced the new women's tag team champions, Liv Morgan with Coral Riga. Samantha is a goat on the microphone. I love hearing Samantha on the microphone. She is a goat. And that's all I gotta say. Commercial break. So we get the number one contenders tag team turmoil match. Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green versus Emma and Nikki Cross versus Kaden Carter and Katana Chance versus Indy Harwell and and Candice Ray and Dana Brooke and Tegan Knox. First of all, Dana Brooke and Tegan Knox, they are not a team, so this felt random. But the match itself was um this will say um I might as well say this match will squash. The bell rings. We are on the way. Indy Harwell starts the match with Sonya, and she hits her with a backbreaker. Candice Ray is tagging, and they double team Sonya. In comes Chelsea, but she is thrown to the outside of the ring. Candice Ray goes for a springboard moonsault on Sonya, but Sonya moves out of the way. Chelsea is tagging, and Le- and Candice Ray hits. Is hit with a flying knee. Chelsea goes for the cover against the pen. Andy Harwell and Candice Ray are eliminated. Nikki Cross and Emma are now in the ring. Are now in the match. Nikki Cross with a right hand onto Chelsea Green. Emma is tagged in as as Nikki Cross leaves the ring to check up on Candice Ray, who is eliminated. Emma with a kick to the face, followed by a snap su- snap suplex. She goes for the cover, but Chelsea kicks out. Emma throws Chelsea across the ring, and she hits her with a splash in the corner. Emma goes for the cover, but Sonya breaks it up. Emma knocks Sonya off the apron. Chelsea with a forearm to the face, followed by a Russian leg sweep. Emma w- wants to go for a goes for the tag, but Nikki Cross is on the outside crying about Candice Ray getting eliminated. Sonya is tagging tagging as Chelsea hits Emma with the upper. On um, pretty her, Sonya hits her with a flying knee. She goes for the cover against the pen. Ni- Emma and Nikki Cross has been eliminated. Tegan Knox and Dana Brooke are now in the match. Tegan Knox with right hands and 
uppercut. Dana Brooke is tagged in, and they double team Chelsea and Chelsea and Sonya falls out of the outside of the ring. Dana and Tiganos hit Sonya and Chelsea with a double slide commercial break. Back from the break, Dana Brooke and Tiganos are are eliminated. Kaden Carter, Kaden and Kaden Carter and Chant. Katana Chance are in the match. Sonya and Kaden are in the ring. Kaden with their right hands. And Chance is tagging. They double team. Sonya Chance goes for the cover, but Sonya kicks out. Chance grabs Sonya, but, but Sonya's but Sonya trips Candace up. Chelsea Green is tagging, and they double team Chance with their vertical suplex. Chelsea Green goes for the cover, but Chance kicks out. Chelsea throws Chance to the ropes, but Chance kicks. With a kick to the face. Carter is tagging. A right hand by Carter as she throws Chelsea into the corner. But Chelsea Green is running towards the turnbuckle. Chelsea Green hits Chance with a elbow. Knocking her off the turnbuckle. Chelsea Green gets Carter in the ring. In the ring corner. And Chance gets back on the ring, on the ring apron. And taps herself in. Chelsea Green is standing on, to- on the top of Carter. In the turnbuckle, hitting her with their right hands. Chelsea climbs to the top rope and hits Chelsea Green with their hurricanrana off the top rope. She goes for the cover, but Sonya breaks it up. Chance gets gets on the top rope. Sonya knocks her off the off the top rope and and to the outside of the ring. Carter knocks Sonya down off the apron, and Chelsea Green hits Carter with the imperial. She goes for the cover and gets a pin. The winner of the match, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. This this was a squash match. Commer- commercial break. A video package hyping up. Bronson re airs. Becky Lynch music kids and now she comes to the ring. Becky Lynch starts off by saying that she did not win money in the bank, but she can move on from that. However, she cannot seem to move on from the thorn in her side that is Trish Stratus. Becky Lynch says. She can't think of a better time or place to end this than right now. Becky Lynch calls Trish Stratus out to the ring. Trish Stratus music hits and now she comes wearing a protective face mask with alongside Zoe Starks. Trish Stratus tells them even even in the mask she is prettier than each and every one of them, and they need a mask like hers, but to hire their ugly, uh, un- unglandness. And she would love to indulge in Becky's request. However, she is not medically clear because Becky broke her face. Becky Lynch tells Trish Stratus to send her little lap dog so he starts to fight. Trish Stratus asks Becky Lynch if she is sure she wants to she wants that after seeing Zoe starts dominating at Money in the Bank. Becky Lynch tells Trish that Zoe starts is better. Than her broken, uh, better than her broke. You know what? Trish Stratus says no one is better than herself, including Becky Lynch. Maybe one day Zoe might be better than her, but plenty, but presently no one is better than her because she is the greatest of all time. Becky's Becky Lynch see, says she's remembered that Trish Stratus couldn't be her own on her own. Zoe starts pop. And from under the ring and hit her with a Z3360. And Trish got the win. And saying Trish isn't the greatest of all time. But but she is. And if Zoe wants to get better, she will have to go through her. Because everyone knows that Trish will be sticking around. Trish is back to get some glory and rub up with her. Advertise her little television show and leave. So Becky Lynch asks Zoe starts, what will happen after that? Is Trish going to bring Zoe to Canada and answer her phone calls at her yoga shop? She asks Trish, why is she even back? Trish says she is the face of the women's division and the division is she built. Trish says Becky ha- hated when they would walk together backstage and everyone would think, Trish, thank, well, thank Trish. She says it's iron isn't lost in her that Becky tried tired to break the face of the actual face of the women's division, and now Zoe starts will will break Becky's face. Trish Stratus and Zoe starts started walking down to the ring, but Trish stops and says she just remembered 
that she has a medical appointment and they have to leave the city. She tells Becky to leave. The calendar opens for Zoe Starks as they head to the back. We, we see a clip of earlier tonight and the fight between Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar. Jackie, Ra- Jackie Redmond, Redmond is on the rim and she introduced Cody Rhodes who comes out wearing a suit. Jackie asks him about an altercation with Brock Lesnar earlier. Cody says tonight is Jackie's first night on Raw and he and he asks the crowd to say hi Jackie which that which they do. Cody says he is a man of his word. He said after the night of champions that he will be waiting on Brock Lesnar. He tells Brock that they are not done yet. He says Brock Lesnar broke his arm. He busted Brock Lesnar's face. There is no way they can continue to coexist co coexist on Raw. He says he wants another shot at Brock Lesnar. He says he will fight Brock Lesnar any night, and he will fight Brock Lesnar every night. Cody music kiss, and he as he shakes his hand, as she shakes hands with the crowd, he heads to the back. Okay, commercial break. Six person tag team match: Alpha Academy versus Viking Raiders. Um, this match right here, it was just. It, it, I just didn't really. Um, it was just decent. I might as well say decent. The bell rings. We are on the way. Gable and Eric start the match. Gable with a roll up, but Eric kicks out. Eric quickly gets back up, and Gable with a headlock. He throws Eric to the ropes, and Eric hits him with the forearm to the face. A chin lock by Eric, and Gable gets out of it and make a tag to Otis. A close line by Otis, and and then comes Ivar. But Otis with a power slam. Otis with a splash onto Eric in the corner. And Eric falls to the mat. Otis rips his shirt off and hits him with the caterpillar. Come on, to break. Back from commercial, Otis with a double close on to the Viking Raiders in the middle of the ring. Gable is tagging in right hands followed by an uppercut onto Ivar. Gable, Gable, to the ring, Gable to the ropes and he hits Ivar with a swinging neck breaker. Eric gets in the ring and an exploder, an exploder suplex by Gable in the middle of the ring. Gable climbed the top second row, but Ivar hits him with a right hand. Ivar climbed the second rope as both men fight on the ropes. Gable with a bulldog off the second rope. Gable close on Ivar in the outside, to the outside of the ring. Gable climbed to the top rope and hits Ivar with a head, but he goes for the cover, but Eric breaks it up. Gable throws Eric to the outside and Ivar with a clothesline. Maxine and Valhalla are tagging. Maxine with a with a hip toss followed by a snap suplex. Maxine with a splash in the corner and and Valhalla falls uh, falls onto the mat. She she look she looks at Otis and and he tells her to do the caterpillar. Um, Maxine goes for the goes for the caterpillar, but Valhalla hits her with a with a knee to the face. The Viking Raiders beat up on Otis on the outside of the ring. Gable with a moonsault off the top rope onto the outside of the ring. On, outside on the Viking Raiders. In the ring, Valhalla throws Maxine to the corner. Valhalla runs towards her, but Maxine jumps over her and gets in, gets her in the roll-up and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Alpha Academy. This was a decent match. Commercial break. Um... Back from commercial, we see clips of Man's Money in the Bank ladder match, and the and the move between Ricochet and Logan Paul through the table. Uh, backstage is Jackie is backstage with Ricochet, and yeah, back, yeah, Jackie is backstage with Ricochet. He tells Jackie that a lot of people thought that Logan Paul didn't even belong in this match. He says the kid can't hang, but. He he doesn't respect that Logan Paul got in his face after that match. They face off. The fact of the matter is that it wasn't Logan Paul's night. Ricochet challenged Logan Paul to a to challenge Logan Paul to next week on Raw face to face, and they show a clip of they show a clip of um of a post match of Logan Paul and Ricochet brawling backstage. So them two got into an altercation. 
We didn't get that at Money in the Bank. We, we didn't see that post-match of Ricochet and Logan Paul brawling backstage. We didn't see that at Money in the Bank. But anyway, let me continue. Next match. Women's, w- Women's World Championship. Rhea Ripley versus Natalia. And this match right here. Um, this match right here. Um, I might as well say this match. We seen this match last week. Why we got seen this match again today? Well, tonight this match was. I didn't really care about this match. As real is walking down to the ring, Natalia attacks her from behind. Natalia throws her onto the barricade and stumps on stumps on her. Right hand by Natalia, and she throws real into those ring steps. Natalia throws real into the ring. As the referee breaks it up, the referee checks on real in the corner, and he call and. And, and calls for the bell. Natalia with right hands in the corner. Natalia drops Rhea and goes for the sharpshooter, but Rhea grabs the ropes and rolls to the outside of the ring. Natalia goes to the outside and Rhea with the right hands knock her down. Rhea throws Natalia onto the announcer table, and as she as she slams her face first several times, Rhea throws Rhea Ruby throws Natalia into the ring. And Natalia hits her with a German suplex, right hands by Natalia, as she goes for a body slam. But Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley lands on her feet and a right hand by Rhea Ripley onto Natalia. Rhea Ripley with a right hand to check to the back of the to the back of Natalia. Another right hand to the lower back by Nat- by Rhea Ripley. She goes for another right hand, but Natalia with a right hand. She gets Rhea in the corner. Um, Natalia runs towards Rhea, but Rhea Ripley with the headbutt. She goes for the cover, but Natalia kicks out. Ripley attacking Natalia's lower back. Ripley with a kick, knocking Natalia down. Rhea grabs Natalia and slams her face first into the top rope, into the top turnbuckle. She she plays Natalia on the top rope. Rhea Ripley climbs the second rope. Natalia hits her with a headbutt, knocking her down. Natalia with a crossbody off the top rope. And both women are down. Both women on their feet and right hands by Natalia, but Rhea Ripley with a knee to the face. Ripley with a drop kick as she goes for the cover, but Natalia kicks out. So we go to commercial break. Back from commercial, a spinning kick by Rhea Ripley knocks Natalia down. Rhea Ripley goes for the rip top, but Natalia reverses it into a hurricanrana. Natalia with a big glare, she goes for the cover, but Rhea Ripley kicks out. She slams Rhea into the turnbuckle. Natalia runs towards Rhea Ripley, but Rhea Ripley with a double kick. She climbs the top rope and lands a missile drop kick onto Natalia. She goes for the cover, but Natalia kicks out. Rhea Ripley with a kick to the head, and she goes for the poison lock, poison lock on, onto Natalia in the middle of the ring. Natalia rolls out of it and slams Rhea into the turnbuckle. Natalia goes for the sharpshooter, but Rhea Ripley trips Natalia face first. Into the turnbuckle. Rhea Ripley stops on Natalia and she climbs to the top rope. Rhea Ripley goes for the frog splash, but Natalia gets a boot up. Rhea Ripley, Rhea Ripley runs towards Natalia and goes for a spear, but Natalia moves out of the way and Rhea Ripley hits the ring post shoulder first. Natalia with a running power slam followed by a sharpshooter in the middle of the ring. Rhea Ripley drags herself to the ropes and reaches the bottom rope. The referee breaks up the breaks it up and Rhea Ripley rolls to the outside. Natalia to the ropes and goes for a baseball slide, but Rhea Ripley moves out of the way. Rhea Ripley gets back in the ring. As Natalia is getting back in the ring, Rhea Ripley hits her with a kick and they have a Rhea Ripley with a rip tie. She goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match is still your women's world champion, Rhea Ripley. This match, this match, I did not even care. Rhea Ripley goes to attack Natalia after the match. But Leo Morgan will quell run down to make the save as Rhea Ripley rolls out of the ring. We see clips of last week's Raw when the Miz attacks Tommaso Ciampa commercial break. Rhea is walking backstage and Eel holding the money in the bank. BK stops her. Rhea tells Eel to try uh, try her and it would be the biggest mistake of her life. In comes Dominic and Damian Priest. Rhea says if Liv and Raquel get into her business again, they will regret it. Dominic says, just like Seth will regret getting in the ring with a dirty dom. So we get Matt Riddle and Matt Riddle versus Giovanni Vancey with Gunther and Ludwig Caster. And this match was squash. This was a squash match. 
The bell rings. We are on the way. Both men exchange right hands. And Vinci with a springboard crossbody off the second row. Vinci attacks Riddle's left foot. And he follows that with a moonsault off the second row. He goes for the curl, but Riddle kicks out. Um, Vinci goes for an ankle lock, but Riddle reverses it into a, into a cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Matt Riddle. This match was squash. Ludwig Castro attacks Riddle right after the match, and Drew McIntyre's music hits. Ludwig Castro runs down towards the ramp, and Drew, towards the ramp. And Drew hits him with a big boot. Drew McIntyre with a Glasgow kiss to Vinci and to Vinci and Riddle hits Riddle with a knee to the face onto Vinci. Drew stares at Gunther, who is standing on the outside. Drew gets Drew with a claymore onto Vinci. Gunther gets in the ring gets in the gets on the ring apron as he as he and Drew go face to face. I cannot wait to see Drew my guitar versus um um Gunther for the um Intercontinental Champion. Is it gonna happen at SummerSlam? I hope so. Let's move on. Commercial break. Back from commercial, Matt Riddle is thanking Drew McIntyre for having his back. In comes Byron Saxon, and Drew tells him that Drew McIntyre is back. Riddle says, and now that Drew is back, he can team up and take on Imperium next week. Drew jokes and says he can't hear people the hear the people on the outside saying to take his shirt off. Drew says ne- Drew says that next week. But they can't go out tonight and have some fun. Riddle agrees, and they both go off to celebrate. So we get Dominic Mysterio accompanied by Damian Priest and River versus Seth Rollins. And this main event right here was um was um it was okay it was okay for what it was. The main event was okay. The bell rings. We are underway. Seth with a headlock takedown, and the fans chant, "Dumb, you suck." Dominic with a head scissors and he gets out of it. Dominic with a headlock takedown. Seth gets out out of it and Seth runs to runs to the ropes and knocks Dominic down with a short tackle. Seth with right hands and he throws Dominic to the outside of the ring. Seth about to run the ropes, but Rhea gets on the ring apron. Dominic runs towards Seth, but Seth throws him to the outside. Seth on the ring apron and he lands a flying knee. Knocking Dominic down. Commercial break. Back from commercial, Seth with a three amigo suplexes. Seth climbs the top rope and as Rhea gets on the ring apron and distracts the referee. Dam- Damian Priest gets on the ring apron and with the referee is the referee is distracted. He pushes Seth off the top rope. Dominic with a frost splash off the top rope. Dominic climbs the top rope and hits Seth Rollins with a with another frost splash. Dominic stomps on Seth. And climb to the top for a third time. Dominic goes for a frog splash, but Seth gets out, gets his knees up. Dominic gets it, gets gets to his feet, and Seth with a kick and a close line knocking Dominic down. Dominic in the corner and a, and a running elbow by Seth on two Dominic. He he lands three elbows and follows that up with a backbreaker. Seth to the ropes and a kick to the face. Seth kicks Dominic and goes for the pedigree. But Damian Priest gets on the ring apron. Seth knocks him down. Dominic gets up and Seth runs close on him to the outside of the ring. Seth with a suicide dive onto Dominic and Damian Priest. Seth throws Dominic back into the ring. Seth with a rolling elbow followed by a forearm to the back of the Dominic's neck. Seth runs goes for the stump, but Damian Priest gets in the ring and hits Seth with a south of heaven. The winner by disqualification, Seth Rollins. Um, the match was okay for what it was. Damian Priest with a right hand. He throws Seth to the outside of the ring. He throws Seth into the announcer table. Damian Priest throws Seth into the barricade. He lifts Seth Rollins up and slams him face first into the announcer table. Damian Priest clears the announcer desk and, go, and goes for the Razor's edge. But Seth Rollins lands on his feet. Seth Rollins with a super kick. Dom, Dominic... Hits Seth from behind with the money in the bank briefcase. Dominic throws Seth into the ring. Steps in the fans chant, Dom, you suck. Dominic gives David Priest the briefcase and tells him to cash it in. David Priest looks around and gets on the ring apron. 
Seth stands up and Finn Balor attacks Seth from behind. And, and um, Seth bumps, bumps into Damian Priest, who falls to the outside. Finn gets on the air, on the ring apron as, as he and Priest argue. Dominic Mysterio tries to play Peacemaker as Seth Rollins rolls out of the ring. Dominic goes after Seth, but Seth agree, hits him with the pedigree. Damian Priest and Finn Balor argue on the outside of the ring as Ray Ribby tries to break it up. Seth Seth's music hits as as he has to the back and Raw goes up there. Now I can see the I can see the breakup between the Judgment Day. They're they are going to tease the breakup of the Judgment Day. But like I said, man, Monday Night Raw was a six out of ten. But I just want to pay my respect to Melinda Ford and Trust No One has died in a car car crash. So so RIP to Trust No One down below in the comment section. This 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 video I dedicate this video to Melinda Ford and my boy Trust No One. So let me take a sip of my water for Melinda Ford. And let me, and let me take a sip of my water to my friend Trust No One. RIP to Trust No One. Anyway, Monday Night Raw was a six out of ten. Um, it was an average show, and I give it a six out of ten. But anyway, remember, remember what, remember what I said. Um, RP Trust on One down below in the comments. If you guys are new, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please full watch this video. Leave a like and comment about this video. I'm on, I'm so close to five, I'm so close to five K bananas, man. And shout out to everybody that came to my live stream yesterday, man. I had a lot of fun on my live stream yesterday. But it just sick it just sick and sad that my friend Trust No One passed away, man. So once again, RP to Trust No One down below in the comment section. This feels like Millennium Four all over again. But like I said before, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please hit hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified when I premiere a brand new video or go live on YouTube Sunday and Thursday at four o'clock Eastern time. And I will try my best to go live on YouTube. I, I would try my best to go live on like three days a week, and that's all I gotta say from here. But anyway, follow my social media, my Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And um, I know tomorrow's Fourth of July, and I will go live on YouTube, and that's all I gotta say. But I had to pay my respect to Melinda Ford and my boy Trust on One, so I dedicate this video to my friend Melinda Ford and Trust on One. So show star with TV. Let me know down below in the comment section that I did a good job. Just let me know down below in the comment section. This your boy, Be Boy Fast Shout TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. Kept your crew, kept your kings, kept your club. Too sweet. I'm out of here. Gang.